anyone can make a good picture nowadays. But it, the, the kind of work we're dealing with and Unseen is dealing with is work that's about the currency of ideas. Hi, my name is Lana Message, and I'm a visual artist from the Netherlands. I got an amazing opportunity to do the Gross Unseen Residency in London for two months. <laughs> it has a bath! I can live in this fridge. Think about all the possibilities it says there. Hi, I'm Anya. I'm nice to meet you. Yes, nice, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anya Dombrowska. I'm an artist and I'm Lana's host. Welcome oh. to our mess. Oh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, really cool. Yeah, this is the working space for the coming two months. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna feel uh, quite a lot here. Hi, Lana. Hi. So, Lana, how was your first day? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and right now, it seems like so many things are possible. You just want to go and see what it will take you. Hello, Lana. Hey, how are you doing? Pleased nice to, to meet you. you. Hiya. I'm Simon Bainbridge. I'm the editor of British Journal of Photography. You're here on the Unseen Residency, right. which gives you how long? How, how long do you spend in London? Two months. Two months, okay. Yeah. And the end result is something that gets shown in Amsterdam in September. To me, that <laughs> sounds like a lot of pressure to, it is to, a to lot produce of work. Yeah. Did you come with an idea or did an idea form quickly after? The idea was that I had to respond to London. Yeah. And uh, I, I thought it would be really interesting to delve into the finance world. So a lot of the work is dealing with, you know, making things tangible, abstract things, invisible things. And that's your job now as well. I'm going to get some coins. We never handle money anymore. We don't have an idea of what it is. A lot of people see them as useless. We see our bank accounts digitally and then we pay by card and now it's even getting to the contactless and it's just like a Harry Potter kind of thing. With swing, swing, swing. Um, but we never handle money. So the idea behind this tower is that we are losing touch with the physicality of money. It makes me wonder if this affects our ideas of value and how we um, experience and express value. Well, yes, the idea of building a penny tower to talk about metaphorical dangers of economic systems controlling our life may be simple on the surface, but um, isn't it the case that most of the really good works of art and good projects are based on simple ideas? Is the penny tower, is it, uh, does it hold water? Do you think it works? As a singular piece out of this whole period? No, 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 it's definitely not enough. My name is Olivier Richon. Uh, I am an artist. I was approached to actually uh, mentor Lana on her project. 
This was the first one. Then uh, I, I tried to do a, a double one. And then disaster stroke, because... Oh, like twin towers. Yeah, and then it collapsed. This one. So hang on, but that's quite good in a way, no? Yeah, it's good. We don't... <laughs> I didn't like it at the time, but it was good. I think it's when these things happen that the picture becomes more interesting. If it's too studied, if it's too contrived, if it's too mastered, uh, it can end up being uh, a technically good image, but uh, aesthetically a fairly indifferent image. In the beginning, I got really stuck that it had to do with failure and I had to connect it to this idea of failure that I, got, I kept on getting stuck. Uh, as soon as I concentrated on the idea of how we relate to value, then the whole world opened up. Who is the picture? One of the bankers. One of the, One of the bankers? Yeah. Okay. So if somebody gave me very little time, it would be an unclear portrait because my image of this person is unclear. Sure. So in that way, the value and time is visible in the amount of detail. It's a photo fair. Does it matter that we're not seeing photographic prints in a conventional, traditional idea of a photo <laughs> fair? <laughs> Well, I think what's really great thing about Unseen is that they're really all about uh, showing the, the limits of the medium and testing the boundaries of what the medium is. Gosh, that seems pa painful to make. Does it take forever? This took me a week. So how many portraits are you going to make like that? Ten? Yes. Yeah, that's long. So do you think two months is enough? <laughs> two months is way too short. Way too short. I think I would like to hear from the future Lana that everything will be all right. Hi, my name is Lana Message, and I'm a visual artist from the Netherlands. And I like the, the idea with the penny uh, tower uh, really much, very much. And also the pyramid is quite an interesting place. I thought it was an interesting kind of take on the finance world. And this is a good example of um, what a complex thing value actually is. Definitely a different perspective on the uh, financial district in the city of London. Asking for time and giving time back in return, that was uh, really amazing. The embroidery that was so detailed, like you could feel the, it was so lifelike. Yeah, it was a lot of work after London. I had to still finish the cross stitch portraits. Um, the last portrait was finished uh, just a week before the opening, and now seeing the result is absolutely amazing because you see all the hard work coming back, and it, it's absolutely fantastic. I think it takes balls to to not know where it's going to end, but to be willing to go through the journey. 